Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Asus P9X79WS motherboard and as you can see here on the cover the WS stands for workstation and this thing can do a four-way SLI and you also get uh, some of the Asus exclusive features for the X79 motherboard such as the one-click speed up using Asus SSD caching similar to the uh, Intel RSD found on Z68 motherboards. Asus has implemented an SSD caching capability on, on their X79 motherboards which are not available in other non-Asus motherboards. You also get the Asus EC BIOS flashback and USB 3.0 boost using uh, UASP or USB attached SCSI protocol. And of course, you know, some other support. You have the uh, four-way, not only NVIDIA four-way SLI support, you also get the four-way uh, Crossfire X support using AMD video cards and also supports the latest um, Intel X79 supported processors such as the i7-3960 Extreme Edition and other LJ2011 socket CPUs. And like all X79 motherboards from Asus, they're all PCIe 3.0 ready for the upcoming uh, 22 nanometer CPUs. And let's flip it open. You can see some more features here. Uh, on the top, we already discussed some of the features that were uh, that are available in this X79 WS motherboard. But you also get the new Digital Plus power control, not only for the Digital Plus, like the Digital Plus VRM for the CPU, but it also extends now to the DRAM. So you have much more precise voltage control in terms of overclocking your memory as well. And of course, you have the UEFI BIOS and the EPU. You also have the Fan Expert Plus, which uh, allows you to customize speeds of independent fan controls uh, to be able to cool your PC more uh, efficiently than than other smart fan controls. And you also get, of course, the AI Suite 2. It's a one-stop access for uh, your Asus motherboard and um, accessing all the features that are available to you. You also get 8 DIMM design. You have two extra SATA 6 ports. And you get, uh, these are exclusive to the WS motherboard. You get the server level compatibility with RAID card and LAN cards. You have the ASUS Quick Gate, which is uh, essentially a USB 2.0 port that is inside the motherboard itself for attaching dongles for security. So that uh, is not an outsider case. And you also get the uh, workstation dial, the diagnosis LED, which is a quick error check for uh, see which the, when the LED lights up depending on the, um, on your server configuration, you can easily troubleshoot what is wrong with your system and keep it running. And you also get this new one, is a three color LED for instant OC status checking. You have OC, normal, and power saving. Now, uh, it's actually, also you also get uh, DTS uh, uh, support for, expand, for uh, uh, exceptional 7.1 surround audio. You also get, as I already mentioned, the flexible multi-GPU solutions. So let's, uh, let's see, let's just start opening the box right now. Let's see. And see anything we miss here at the back. Just a quick preview of what it looks like. What the WSPX9, P9X79WS motherboard looks like. As you can see there, it's, uh, it's very similar to the P8P67WS Revolution motherboard in terms of color design and the layout. And unlike the uh, Sabertooth X79 and the uh, the ROG X79 motherboards, there uh, the Intel X79 Express chipset is a is passively cooled. Let's see what else we missed? Okay, now let's just actually just start unboxing and see what we can find inside. Here we got the. A lot of accessories here. You get the an I/O shield, which is labeled and padded in the other side. You get the Asus Q connectors. You can see that they are clearly labeled. One is for so one is for USB USB 2.0. Well, one is for the front panel connectors. And you have your eSATA connectors, including a power connector. A four pin four pin Molex to eSATA. And you get a quad SLI. Let me just show you how big this is. You have the quad SLI card. See, these are designed a flexible ribbon for massive four-way SLI configuration. And you also have the you get this flexible 
two-way SLI. It's quite long. And of course the motherboard manual. And this is a quick start guide. And you also get the just for a quick installation, and you also get the full user's guide here. Just put aside the driver CD and just show you. Uh, it's actually all English. So that is a very detailed manual you get with it. You get now here is the uh, driver DVD for the motherboard. We need to install for the drivers to get your system running. You have your SATA 3 connectors and SATA 6 connectors. And this is a for the COM port. That's to the back, PCI adapter. And this is uh, it's an eSATA and a USB 2.0 uh, adapter you can attach into your case. And another pair of SATA 6 cables. And this is a three-way SLI bridge. And underneath this compartment, you can find the P9X79WS motherboard itself. Pull it up. Here we have the Asus P9X79WS motherboard out of the packaging and as we can clearly see it is slightly wider than the standard ATX configuration and you have uh, this is actually a this actually measures 12 uh, by 10.5 inches actually uh, I think uh, that is called the CEV form factor and uh, things according to the box and uh, you can see the passive why these uh, Intel X7 chipset is passively cooled. There's actually a heat pipe with a series of fin arrays here extending and connecting to the VRM area on the top. And uh, let's start outlining. We have the power connector. Unlike other X7 motherboards, this is the first X7 motherboard I have seen, at least with Asus motherboards, that have the power connector here on the uh, upper left hand side instead of here at the top of the uh, CPU area, so that should be that uh, should be perfect for uh, managing your cables when you're a power connector. It's much easier to it provides extra clearance here for a few millimeters on top. I know I've had uh, clearance issues with some cases that have the uh, the water cooling uh, radiator on top, so that that I like the seeing that one in there. And you also get, of course, the quad dim slots. You have the alternating dim slots for left and right, and you also get. Uh, the new, if you haven't seen it yet, if this is the first time seeing the uh, socket 2011, this looks quite massive, and you you get this new kind of uh, socket where you don't need a backplate for installing aftermarket heat sinks. And here you can see a fan connector here, so four pin VLVM fan, two at the bottom for CPU instead of at the top, and another uh, four pin fan header right here on the left side with the uh, the left uh, dim slots. And you can see you have, uh, let's move it to the top here and take a closer look. There is a, another 4-pin fan header there and here is a 4-pin Molex connector called the Easy Plug for additional power. There's also your 24-pin CPU power connector and the Mem OK button which uh, if you want to clear your memory settings when you overclock that's an easy way to just press that and clear it without clearing your CMOS. Uh, and uh, keeping your, your overclock with your CPU that's very useful in case you haven't used it before and you have uh, here you have the EPU switch which is toggle switch and you have another um, PLBM fan controller for your PWM fan header right for the front for your possibly your intake for your uh, case and here is a USB 3 uh, 20 pin or 19 pin header you can attach there for front panel access and here you have eight SATA ports. Of course you have the Intel SATA ports here. The SATA 6 one is white and the light blue ones are the SATA 3 ones and the one here with labeled SSD caching is actually the one controlled by the Marvell 9128 SATA 6 controller. You get a pair of them for uh, of course if you want to use the Asus SSD caching you will attach it onto these controllers. And let's move down to the bottom. Here we got the, uh, here's where you attach your Q connector, your front panel. They're actually labeled already, so 
uh, should be very convenient when installing and you get this uh, USB 2.0 port right there for your dongle uh, for extra security you also get USB 2.0 ports here USB 2.0 headers and a debug LED you have your power and reset button now with the previous uh, P8 P67WS revolution motherboard you get the diagnosis uh, card that you have to plug into a header but the controls for this one now the reset and power button is actually built in to the P9X79WS motherboard itself and of course you get several headers you have some other fan header there and a COM1 header and uh, here you have the TPU switch and you have the firewire header SPDIF out header and here we can see the uh, uh, the uh, PCIe slots they're all PCIe X16 slots uh, so the white ones are they appear to be 8x electric uh, 8x mechanically and the black ones as well I don't see any leads for that so if you're going to connect a dual SLI for full 16x you want to attach it to the blue ones and as you can see the spacing is quite perfect for getting a lot of airflow even even if you have those uh, Asus triple slot GTX 580s uh, direct CO2 uh, cooler video cards that is very very much compatible with the P9X79 motherboard of course you can, you can use quad SLI or quad crossfire X configuration and you'll have plenty of space and bandwidth to run it because the Intel X79 chipset allows for that much lanes of uh, video uh, PCIe and uh, let's see what else we missed let's move here to the back and get the TPU chip in there and the, the Realtek 898 audio chip or the uh, audio connectors you also get we also already know is the uh, 4 pin PLM fan there for your exhaust fan let's uh, flip to the top of it you can look at the external connectors uh, the rear I.O. you get the of course get this eight channel audio you got the another audio for for uh, SP diff optical out you got USB 3.0 ports in the rear and these are controlled with the AS media 3, USB 3.0 controller and you get a pair of Intel uh, Ethernet gigabit LAN Let's get the firewire uh, port there and uh, one two three four five six seven and eight USB 2.0 ports and of course the white USB 2.0 port is shared with the BIOS uh, function BIOS flashback function from uh, Asus you just simply plug in your FAT16 or FAT32 formatted USB uh, USB thumb drive in there with the image file of the BIOS update and you just simply press that and it will automatically update for you without uh, the need to have any processor or a video card or any, even a hard drive installed so you can see that video in uh, in our YouTube channel just uh, search for USB BIOS flashback and you can see how easy it is to update your Asus X79 motherboards using that function and of course for legacy users like me I still have an IBM Model M keyboard I like to see that there is support for my keyboard so you can see that there are PS2 connectors for your mouse and keyboard right at the very top and see how I missed stay flip it to the back for a bit see what it looks like it's slightly wider and you can see, let's have see, count the phases here two, four, six, eight. You got 10 phases there. Of course, uh, this, this WS board is not really meant as much of a, an overclocking system compared to the, uh, the other, like especially the ROG boards, but it, it should overclock very well and it's primarily designed for stability. And then of course you want, if you're going to have a server build, you want it to be as reliable as possible, no matter uh, what kind of component you install in here. So uh, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like it is an LED that lights up here in the middle with an Asus logo in there, right in between. Uh, the, uh, the previous P8 P67WS Revolution had a pulsating LED, but it wasn't a, it was just a simple, uh, simple LED light that was located here underneath one so that might be it it might be a, a PCIe status LED but now they have shaped it to an Asus logo in there so it is much uh, much more attractive looking now let's uh, let's install our 
or i7 3960x processor in here and uh, put in some RAM and a new cooler and let's see how well the P8, P9 X79 WS Revolution motherboard performs.